Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, if we take a look once again at some of the new features uh, in the October 2018 update. One of them, if you, get, you use a tablet, if you use a pen on a laptop, if touch is your thing, well, one of the things that you might find interesting is that the touch keyboard now accepts um, SwiftKey. SwiftKey is that way of just sliding across the keyboard to create words. It technically simplifies the way that you will actually uh, write. So SwiftKey is now available. Also, Emoji 11. So this is the new version of emojis. So basically, if you use that touch keyboard, a whole new set of emojis for those that love emojis. I know some of you do because I've seen some people use tons of emojis all the time for all sorts of things. I personally don't use much of the emojis, but uh, or especially not at all in Windows. But if you wish to uh, have uh, the latest emojis, they've uh, now upgraded to Emoji 11. So lots of stuff there. And of course, the uh, Swift key keyboard that lets you just go to, uh, you know, click. And you see here, it actually works by uh, going through the different letters. And it's going to give you... Um, hopefully what you want in uh, the uh, the uh, keyboard so uh, no need to you know like remove your pen and go tap another letter you just leave your pen or finger on the screen and just go through the letters for a word that you want to write and it's uh, supposed to work pretty well now I don't use it really because I don't have touch capability I use the trackpad which is dreadfully difficult to just use touch settings on this uh, or the touch keyboard. So that's pretty much some of the new stuff that you'll have, SwiftKey and the ability of course to have Emoji 11 activated for anybody that uses the functionalities of uh, the uh, touch keyboard or a touch device. Uh, could be interesting for uh, some of you to use all of this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.